it's going to be 4 30 because that's when i drop my video if y'all don't know i drop a video every day at 4 30 and if you're lucky i drop another video in that same day either or in either in the morning like eight o'clock in the morning y'all or when i'm feeling like Woo! but if you clicked on this video thank you for clicking on this video y'all know i be coming with the topics and it's very very early in the morning y'all it's very early i had to uh record early for reasons so we gonna Oh, y'all, if y'all looked at the clip in the beginning, your girl whipped up a uh, stuffed bell pepper yesterday, and I just got the rice on the side with some uh, cucumbers because I like cucumbers. But we finna get into this video. Y'all know my natural habitat is my car. It's my car. But I made this bell pepper yesterday. There go, y'all. Y'all seen it when I was when I was doing it. Y'all seen it. But let me say my grace and everything so we can get started into the video. Let's go, y'all. Amen. All right. Let's eat. Let's eat, baby. Y'all eating with me? Y'all on lunch break or something? Or y'all got like 30 minutes till it's time for y'all to go home? For those of you who work and you gotta you work like seven to four or eight to five or nine to five or nine to six. Mm. That's good. I got my little knife, y'all. Mm. This rice and stuff good. I was supposed to be making this for my auntie, but I don't know what happened. I think she ended up saying that she won't make it. <laughs> mm. Oh, she just love the crunch. Y'all, y'all just stick around and stick with me. The video is only going to get better and better. Y'all know what I'm saying? You just got to work with people. This is what I have for my drink. For my drink. How y'all doing today? I'm finna eat and then I'm, I'm just be getting in the topic as well. Y'all, this come from my community, community poll tab. If y'all still, if y'all haven't seen it and y'all still want like topics or y'all want it's stuff that y'all want to ask me and stuff. Go to that post where I I told y'all to ask me some topics and stuff like that. And I will answer them in a video that y'all would want me to talk about. Y'all go run it up. Mm-hmm. We finna get into this bell pepper. Mm-hmm. Let's get into it. Y'all, this bell pepper is defined. Y'all want to see it? Y'all see it? Can y'all see that bell pepper with all that good, 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 good stuff coming up out of it? Yes. Y'all, I had my presentation because y'all know presentation is key. I had everything set up the way I wanted it to be set up. But life took a turn for the worse. <laughs> for real. I told y'all don't be sleep on me. I whip it up in the kitchen. See me? I like to make different kinds of stuff. Just like my auntie though. But I just like to make different kinds of stuff. Let me show y'all. This bite that I'm about to take. See it, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all get it. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Must be nice. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mmm. And I'm trying to tell y'all, this rice, 
be hitting by itself. I got the rice, uh, ground beef. I got my onions and sauteed in here. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I got my onions sauteed in here. I got my bell pepper and my, um, my bell pepper sauteed in my rice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into this topic. <laughs> Once I finish chewing my food, don't fall, okay? Okay. Mm. Y'all, once I finish. I got to go start a Zoom class with my baby. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, y'all coming to view? Okay, no. So, I have Miss Tarisha Davis. Tarisha Davis, you said get in a close relationship with God. And Miss Holman, Miss Rochelle Holman, did I say it right? You said what was the turning point in my life? Where I knew knew I needed uh I needed a change, I, where I needed a better uh relationship with God, and how did my family react to it? And Miss Joanne Boo, you said my desire is to study the Bible. So, y'all said that. So I had to come. It was like three people that wanted to know about my um, like my relationship with God or like my crossing over, my turning point, you know, and stuff like that. So. I'm going to give y'all what y'all want. I really want to put my hot sauce in this rice. I'm going to put my knife over here because that's kind of nasty. And I always eat all over the place. Let me try to eat neat. Try to eat neat, baby. But, y'all, okay, so getting a close relationship with God happened. What's that? Okay. It's nothing. <laughs> Getting a close relationship with God started this year. Honestly. It's like in life, I always knew. Like, always, always, like, not always knew, but I always had that relationship. I just never was as committed or faithful enough. Y'all know what I'm saying? But I'll always just make it my best interest to you know, talk to God and acknowledge him and just thank him for the blessings that he have given me. I've always done that, but this year, it took me to quit my job at Walmart because, y'all, I was working at Walmart for four years, and I would always say, hey, I'm going to stop working at Walmart um, because I got something that I want to pursue. And I never really did it. Walmart just kept me, y'all. And one thing about a job, if they don't let you go and you don't decide to let yourself go, you're going to stay there. You're going to stay there in that same headspace, in that same mind frame. You're going to wake up every day and say that I'm going to leave this job, but you never will. It took, that was one of my turning points. When I when I quit Walmart, I said, you know what? I'm gonna pursue what I want to pursue. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna venture off and I'm gonna do what I do. I had started making lip gloss too at the time of me working at Walmart, and I started selling lip gloss at Walmart. And then I would do lift rides, and then I would get in lift, and then I would make my money there too. Once I got off at Walmart, and I would try to sell my lip gloss while I was uh, while I was doing lift, y'all. And then I was just like, you know what? I got this. This is something that I really can do. God got me. You know what I'm saying? I start, you know, I, I start finding myself like talking, talking to God, you know, trying to ask for the guidance and the faith and everything like that. Y'all, and then once I got the courage to quit Walmart, <laughs> I think um, my, um, my mother nature has something to do with that, y'all, because I was on my mother nature that day, that morning when it all happened. And I, and I was working in the freezer that day. And I said, you know what? I'm not doing it today. I quit. I quit. But, y'all, I started doing lift or whatever like that. And then I ain't going to tell y'all no story. Lift, I ain't never say this, but lift deactivated my account. They said something. But it was so funny. 
I was actually doing all the things that I was supposed to do correctly with the lift share ride. I even bought chips and I had water. I had gum. I had all that for, for people that came in my car. But people just wanted to be nasty. And it was really the females that really wanted to be nasty. But y'all, that's another story. But... I know y'all probably want me to eat. Bell pepper sitting over there. I ain't even really hungry, y'all. I got my best friend. <laughs> my donkey. The lady was like, she was like, oh, you here earlier today. Y'all here early. But, um, and so I got, I got in a dark head space, y'all, for like two months, three months. Because I had a different YouTube. I had another YouTube. And it was like, I wasn't posting. I wasn't doing anything. And it's like, I stopped selling my lip gloss. For some reason, I was in a dark head space. I was just letting people win. I started doing stuff for people, and they wouldn't even do those things for me. I started breaking my back. You know, just, just doing the most for people and... Basically, basically watering someone else's garden and mine's already been dead. It's already the, the, the grass, they grass was green, y'all. My grass wasn't green. And I don't think they was appreciating me. And then something just happened. Something just shifted in my life. It just happened. I was like, well, I was like, well, you quit Walmart. Yes, that's true. Because. I started, I was finna go back and I was finna go work at UPS, y'all. I um I got hired. I went there. I did everything. My background check came back quicker than ever. They was ready to hire me. But some of the red flags that made me stop was for one, it was 30 minutes away. It was uh what it was, three in the morning. I had to be there 15 minutes early, and it's already 30 minutes away. It was just too much. I was already working at Walmart from 4 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. So I already knew how to like get up. But I was like, so hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me reiterate this. So you quit Walmart, right? And you was finna, so you could pursue, you yeah, being an entrepreneur and just pursuing what's, what's best for you. Because Walmart don't really value you. So you finna go to UPS and work twice as harder for still very little pay. You know what I'm saying? And then it took a time. I was just like, that's when I just started talking to, I started talking to God even more. I started just, just thanking him for the day. Like I would start by thanking him for the day before I even try to come at him any other particular way to ask him for the things that I wasn't even really giving myself. Y'all know what I'm saying? It's like, so that's when I was like, you know what? Me and my auntie, um, like she she was like up and down with YouTube. She post here and there, as far as in that. And then I just stopped doing YouTube. So me and my auntie, we were only really we wouldn't discuss YouTube things. We would just discuss family. She come over. I see my auntie give a hug. How you doing, Pooh? Yeah, I'm doing good. And she was like, "You need to get with me for the YouTube." And I was like, "Yeah, you right, auntie. I ain't never get with my auntie. Was just sitting like a bump on the log. Y'all know what I'm saying." And then it was just like it clicked in me. I, I made my YouTube page and then it God works. <laughs> he works wonders, y'all. He shift things. Cause that that time where I started my YouTube page, I, I I made my account and everything, y'all. And then like two days later, I seen my auntie. She came over. I was like, well, I ran about her. I was like, Auntie, well, if you ready to start and you you want me to uh video record you and stuff like that, I'm down for it because you know I'm finna start um I'm finna start back up. I said, now, if you have somebody that's already recording your videos, you know, then that's cool and stuff like that. And she was like, no niece, no niece. And then that's when we really, we really got together and we made it happen, y'all. And then it's just like, I started just talking. I didn't know what it was that I was doing, but I was like, I quit Walmart for a purpose, for a reason. It wasn't just quitting Walmart because like i quit walmart is because i knew so much i knew i was so much better than that i knew i was so like 
God has something better for me. And it just took uh, time for me to understand and realize that I was too busy jumping for this person and jumping for that person and doing this and doing that, that I never did anything for myself. I was just, I was just in like a, a different headspace. And the turning point, Rochelle, the turning point for me was when I was down and out on my behind and I was just like, I didn't know where to go and what to do. I really didn't. Like when Lyft deactivated my account, I was like, dang, I was making some good money. Plus my lip gloss and stuff, I was making some good money. And they let me go. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what do I do? But something something came in me to start my YouTube back up. And then I was with my auntie. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we came together with a schedule and stuff where we going to upload and stuff like that. Whenever she need me, like what days you want me to come over to record and have your videos. My auntie be all over the place. She be busy, so she can't stick with the schedule. So whenever she called me, I'd be like, all right, auntie, I got you. I'm on the way. And I'm the type of person that I want to see you win just as well as me winning. You helping me, I want to help you even more. You know what I'm saying? So... Anytime I go over and I upload a I record a video for her, y'all, I'm editing that video right there while we standing right there recording the next video. That's just how how much I want to help you. You know, so it, it is never about just me trying to make a quick buck or me just trying to get a spotlight. You know what I'm saying? It's like I want to help you just as much as you help me. So that's that part. But um, let me see. I started getting a closer relationship with God when I started realizing that I wanted peace in my life. When I wanted more peace than I wanted anything, people start like, this y'all, this is a long video. But like like I was saying, I, I started watering other people's garden, started doing stuff for people. Y'all, I would wake up in the middle of the night like three, like what, three something in the morning to take somebody to work. You know, just stuff, stuff that I was doing. Like it it just it was it was really a lot. I was always there for people and like I wasn't I wasn't doing nothing for me. And it's like once I started my YouTube channel and I started wanting peace and I started to want it to grow and be, you know, not successful, but just be at peace and be able to basically afford my living for me and my son. That's all I want to do. I don't want to be in nobody else's lane. I don't want to think I'm better than the next person. I don't want to downplay, down talk nobody's situation because just as fast as God did it for me, he can take it away from me. So y'all, I pray each and every day for the blessings that I receive and I pray that I accept those blessings with open arms and good intentions. Not like, oh yeah, like I don't be trying to belittle or downplay nobody else's situation because I want to stay in my own lane. I want God to continue to bless me with the blessings that he has for me and that I don't even know about. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all, I don't let this fool get cold. I ain't eating nothing. I'm so sorry. Honey. But... I'm gonna probably eat this bad pepper off camera. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I ain't eating for y'all. But this topic, this topic was serious. But, baby, my turning point when I was down on my behind and I feel like wasn't nobody for me, wasn't nobody trying to help me get out that dark spot. Wasn't nobody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody but God. When I started making my YouTube videos, it, it went from I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say too much because that's gonna be in another video. But my like I was just hungry for bettering myself. I was just like I was craving, like I needed, like I wanted it. I had to, I had to do better for me and my child. That's what it was. And that made my turning point. I would start staying in tune with myself. I started recording videos for YouTube so I could finally accomplish what I want to accomplish. So I could finally do better. Y'all know what I'm saying? 
And once I started posting more videos, making more time for me, it came to a point in time where I made less time for those people who I had time for in the beginning. And I lost a lot of people, y'all. I lost a lot of people. And you know what? I ain't gonna say I lost a lot of people. It was just time. It, 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 it The season is over. It's my season. It's my time now. I'm finna work for this. God told me that this is for me. This is my calling. This is what I'm going to do. And he's going to help me along the way as long as I put forth the effort. And that's what happened, y'all. I started finding peace with my videos. I started getting in my car. I started going to, like, places and i started speaking my truth speaking you know what i'm saying i start being the person that i want to be i never lived for anybody else i'm gonna get that started i mean that straight i never lived for anyone else y'all but i just start living for me and my son you know i don't want him to struggle the way i did i don't want him to you know what I'm saying? And when I say struggle, everybody have their different definitions of struggle. Everybody have the, they have the homeless one, they got the sleeping in the car, or they got the like not being where they want to be and having to work long, long, long hours just to receive a certain amount on their paycheck. Y'all catching what I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I want him to be able to, when he get older, to have a trust fund. I want him to be set up. I want him to be able, you know what I'm saying? I want him to know these things. I want him to know that he don't have to go work for nobody. That he gonna be his own boss. Because in reality, these people, they sit back at home. And they watch you work for them to provide for your family. You provide for right, y'all. So I had to stop and start back. So I'm back. But basically what I was saying is like I felt like I was not uh, valued or appreciated at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I feel like you should invest in yourself and you should work for like you should work for people that value you and understand you and you know, like for instance, you will be like um Walmart, with a family member, if a family member passed away, Walmart really would not care. You got to bring proof of them. You know, you got to bring so much proof. You got to uh, tell them in advance. And it's okay for you to have to show them proof, but you just got to, like, in advance. You got to, like, tell them in advance and stuff like that. It just don't make sense. I just feel like I was not appreciated at Walmart. Y'all, so I had to leave, and then I was like, why would I go to UPS where uh, it's going to be the same thing and I'm going to have to work twice as hard? Like, that really wouldn't make sense. So, and Miss Joanne, you said my desires to study the Bible. Basically, like, I don't want to, um, I don't want to just be talking in, it's a lot of stuff in the Bible that I don't know that I would like to, you know, learn. And, you know, you will always go, like me personally, I will go around people and they'll be like, um, it's all happening. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's been said. It's in the Bible and it's stuff like that. When people be quoting stuff like, quoting stuff, I always wanted to know, like, where was this in the Bible? Can somebody please understand, like, help me understand? And then I was just like, as I got closer to God and as I, like, really, you know, like, what am I, how am I saying? So, basically, when I got closer to God... I started becoming to, you know, get more in tune with myself, more so trying to find my peace and things like that. I started, I always wanted a Bible, y'all. I always wanted a Bible. And I never just like, I would, I would be looking for them, but I really, really wouldn't be looking for them. It's like in my mind, like, I, I guess I really wasn't looking for them, but I was looking for the Bibles. I always wanted one. And it took me trying to find my peace and get closer to God to open, you know, to get a Bible, open it up, to re read it through, read it thoroughly to see what's going on, like like it's been happening, it's been what's going to happen, and stuff like that, it's just like I'm gonna just say this, y'all with me wanting to get closer to God with me, like becoming more at peace with myself and more at peace in general it allowed me 
to open my Bible. It allowed me to want to be hungry, to be more hungrier for the words that's in the Bible, for me to, you know, want to really know what's going on and what it is. That's that that's what I meant to say. That's what that is. One last thing, um, with me, like with my family, it's like I just would say stuff and then like as far as in like you like you know if you were to say anything to somebody on the street or you would like like basically express to them how you're feeling and what you believe in, they won't really say nothing. Y'all know what I'm saying? It's just like I would say little small stuff, but by me trying to be so at peace with myself and like I really be by myself, like my family haven't really had the chance to like really kind of understand where I'm coming from and it's like me you know me uh getting closer to God you know expressing my feelings and talking to him it's like that's when people start dropping that's when people start I start like they start just basically removing themselves out my life and it's because I had more time for me I had more time to you know, try to understand, you know, what's set before me. And it's like, I, I ain't even get a chance to the people who are, were, you know, watering their garden. The people, they didn't even, they don't even know, like, they don't even know how strong I am, you know, with, you know, with what everything that I'm doing right now, they don't know. And I can say before I left, I had multiple conversations. I had conversations that really will put you in the mindset to know that I'm thinking differently. But people will bypass what I'm saying. And they'll be like, yeah, I got you. But they won't really understand. So it's like I really just remove myself from people and situations, family and all. Like, how can your family really know about your change if they ain't trying to listen? You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to listen or thinking that you're preaching or thinking something other, you know, or just say small subliminal things or just a little fake love ad lips trying to be nasty, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, if you did, you know, just, just saying stuff like, like all right, y'all. So basically, I forgot where I ended off at. I'm having technical difficulties. My phone is not cooperating with me, but y'all. Basically, I was just saying family just they don't really understand. They don't really want to hear it You know what I'm saying? It's a difference when somebody want to hear stuff you can pick up off the smallest things And so I stay to myself and I preach to myself. I talk to myself and me I never really like growing up. I was taught to read Psalms 23rd, you know, but as I got older my prayer wasn't a scripture in the Bible it wasn't uh, a saying it wasn't any of those things y'all my prayer is now and my prayer has been me just just come and talking to God like I don't like when when they say talk to God I never really had a like y'all my prayer is to just when I when I talk to God and I pray to him I find myself just just before I know it I just start talking I just be like, God, thank you for the day that I received. And I just start talking. I start telling him about my day, praying for people that I see that, that you know, that just, just talk to me or like my, like y'all, my supporters, my subscribers. I'll be like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like my bestie, Angela, Miss Joanne, Sherry's life. I just start talking about y'all throughout my day. And then before you know it, I've been prayed about, pray for y'all just a whole bunch of stuff y'all but my prayer has like it hasn't been a scripture in the bible it has been me just communicating just me talking and then i would i would pull out once i'm finished and stuff like that i would pull out my bible and i would say my verses that i'm trying to learn and stuff like that and i would just read the bible just start reading y'all i can't i don't force uh no one to uh what's that word I don't force no one to be around me in my like in my bubble trying to listen to me and what God has to offer me. I don't try to prove to nobody like me believing what I'm believing. I don't I don't try to like basically portray or uh be somebody who I'm not and all that good stuff, y'all. But I'm having technical difficulties. It is a lot going on this morning, but that's what y'all won't get. Y'all won't get the, 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 the back part. 
when you're trying to record a YouTube video. But y'all, that's basically, I believe I answer all y'all questions. Thank you, Miss Davis, Miss Holman, 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 did I say it right? Miss Joanne, thank y'all for giving me these topics to talk about. We are blessed. We are highly favored. We are receiving blessings, tr blessings tremendously, abundantly. And we're not going to wait till 2021 to start accomplishing our goals. We're going to do it right now, y'all. We're going to do these goals right now. There's no reason why we're waiting until 2021 to do what we can do right now. And then we can see the results in 2021. So by the time you start 2021, you are already accomplished what you said you was going to accomplish in 2021. It's right around the corner. We can start right now. Y'all know what I'm saying? But um, that was it, y'all. I hope that y'all really like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It is some things that I'm forgetting, but it's going to be all right. I'm going to let it slide. <laughs> but I love y'all. It's your girl, Leah Love. It's been real, and I'm out. Peace.